Hydrogen production by ammonia dissociation is the uh, third hydrogen production module in industrial gases uh, desktop. Uh, this is a, uh, historically a uh, fairly common uh, way for many different uh, industries to generate hydrogen on site using uh, ammonia feed which is readily available uh, in most parts of the world to introduce it into a uh, heated, uh, typically electrically heated or it could be gas fired uh, furnace with a nickel catalyst retort. Um, the uh, ni uh, uh, hydrogen literally dissociates into its uh, nitrogen and hydrogen components uh, in a mixture of 75 percent hydrogen, 25 percent nitrogen. There's often a heat recovery unit or heat exchanger to preheat the incoming gas. Uh, and for many applications at 75 percent, 25 percent mix is fine. Uh, for some applications the objective is to make hydrogen so that mix would go into a uh, pressure swing absorption unit to produce for example 5 ninths pure hydrogen. So let's look at the uh, cost calculator for uh, producing uh, either dissociate 75-25% uh, mix or 100% pure uh, hydrogen using uh, ammonia dissociation. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the plant size. And it could be anywhere from 1,000 to 100,000 standard cubic feet per day. Uh, I'll go back to my example of uh, 12,000 standard cubic feet per day or about 500 standard cubic feet uh, per hour. Uh, we'll set uh, in section number two the power use rate and that is the kilowatt hours uh, required to produce 100 cubic feet of dissociated ammonia. So for our example here uh, and, and by the way that could be anywhere from 2.5 all the way up to 7.5 for most units that are available in the market today. I'll choose four. Uh, in number three we're going to set the ammonia feed cost. Uh, an ammonia market uh, moves around quite a bit. It could be anywhere from $300 a ton all the way up to $1,500 per ton. Uh, so in our case uh, we'll set the uh, ammonia rate at about $500 per ton and then move to section number four to set the power cost uh, anywhere from two cents to twenty cents uh, per kilowatt hour and this is in the case of an electrically heated ammonia dissociated unit uh, dissociated unit. The fifth area that we set are uh, the operating cost items just like the other plant uh, models where we're taking into account uh, labor, maintenance, insurance, water, consumables, everything except for capital recovery. So in this case I'll set that at about 17 cents per hundred cubic feet. Okay we've got this generator set up so let's run the calculation and see what we get. Uh, it shows us that the uh, cost to produce uh, 100 cubic feet uh, is a dollar two and that does not include uh, capital recovery. Capital recovery could add anywhere from 25 to 100 percent of additional cost just depends on how quickly the capital needs to come back. The uh, cost per ton is about a thousand dollars and if we look at the purified hydrogen rate we're making uh, we can make uh, out of that 12,000 standard cubic feet of DA gas we can make about 7,200 standard cubic feet of purified hydrogen in a PSA unit and that will be 5 ninths pure hydrogen and the cost uh, the, the cost to produce hydrogen uh, just the hydrogen alone would be about a dollar sixty nine per 100 cubic feet uh, in the example that we're showing here. So there, there's a lot of flexibility. You can cover the full range of, uh, of ammonia dissociators with this module. And uh, for more support and information of what's typical and what might happen, please log into the Gas Experts Forum. Uh, post your question there. I'm sure that uh, someone will respond with uh, uh, some good information that will, uh, will be supportive in your uh, uh, interest in this area.